All right, ladies and gents, in today's video, we're, we're going to go over some uh, real quick how-to information. Uh, the double uni knot, but not just the double uni knot, the double uni knot for very light line applications like trout fishing. So let's go to the bench and uh, see how it's done. All right, guys, here's the, the two lines we're going to be uh, tying together. On the top, we got this uh, orange uh, sinister strand uh, premium fiber braid in four pound. And on the bottom, we have uh, Runkle Power Fluoro in five pound. This is what I normally fish. And uh, the difference with this uni knot as opposed to other double uni knots you're going to see probably on the internet is if you're using heavier, heavier line, you usually use less wraps. But since we're using this very, very thin light line, uh, I like to do six wraps. I initially tried this with four and five, and a couple times the knot came loose on me. When I went to six, it hasn't failed me. So uh, that's the biggest key with this if you're doing light line. Uh, you can do six and sometimes uh, even more wraps if you really want to, but I've found that six is the good uh, good spot to be. Um, what we do is we grab both lines and put them parallel to each other, just like this. And I like to start with the leader section, so that would be the, the Runkle Power Fluoro, and I make a loop, just a single loop, and hold it with the, bra uh, the braid and the, uh, the fluorocarbon loop there. And then all we're going to do is do six loops or wraps through this loop. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and one more six so if you can see all the lines wrapped around the braid here and all we're going to do is pull it tight very carefully so it tightens up on that braid right before it tightens up i like to moisten it a little bit it helps it slide a little bit and we pull it all the way tight so it's a little tiny knot there and sometimes i'll need the knot just to make sure it slid on all that braid so you got a little itty bitty knot there now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So we take our braid, make a loop. Let's see if I can make a bigger loop here. And hold it so I have the, uh, the uh, fluoro and the braid loop in my fingers. And then just wrap it six times. Right through that hole. One. Two. Three, four, five, and six. And now we pull this tight, and right before it gets real tight, we moisten it. Pull it tight, and you got a nice little knot there. Okay, now we take our leader end and our braid end. And we carefully pull the line together so the knots meet. Just like that. Now it's very important. You have to remember this is this is four pound braid and five pound fluorocarbon. So pulling on it with your hands, you can easily break this line. You don't have a fishing rod or a drag to help uh, keep the line from breaking. So all you got to do is pull till it's snug. You don't have to really wrench on it or just snap the line. <laughs> it can't handle that. So now all we got to do is cut the tag ends off. Okay, there I got my tag end. Make sure it's my tag end so you don't get confused as I've done. I've cut my main line a couple times after doing this knot. So you got to pay attention. And grab our shears. And we cut as close as we can to that knot without cutting the knot. Just like that. Make sure it's tight. Then we get our floral end. Make sure it's the tag end. And cut as close to the knot as we can get without cutting the knot. There you have it. Perfect, strong little knot. Now we're ready to fish. All right, ladies and gents, there you have it. Uh, double uni knot is a, a tough knot for me to tie initially, but the more I practice it, I got really good at it, and uh, now it's it's just second nature. 
there are other night knots out there so if, if you don't like this one i encourage you to go take a look around and uh, you might find a knot that works better for you but this one is the one that works best for me uh, if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the uh, comment section here and i'll, I'll get back to them as, as soon as i possibly can and also check out these other videos over here uh, i got lots of how-to videos uh, everything from uh, bait and weight stuff to mini jigs to uh, you name it, trout fishing. I'm, I'm coming out with video. I already have one out. So I uh, hope to see you guys out there and uh, tie lines.